pair of straight lines which are respectively perpendicular to the lines represented by ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. This bx square plus 2hxy plus ay square equal to 0. Second option bx square minus 2hxy plus ay square equal to 0. Third option ax square minus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0. The last option none of these. Let y equal to m1x and y equal to m2x be the lines represented by ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0. That implies m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2h upon b and m1 and m2 equal to a upon b. And the lines perpendicular to them will have slopes as minus 1 by m1 and minus 1 by m2. Thus their equations will be y equal to minus 1 upon m1 times x and y equal to minus 1 upon m2 times x. Their joint equation will be m1y plus x times m2y plus x which simplifies to m1 m2 y square plus m1 plus m2 times xy plus x square equal to 0. That is a upon b the value of m1 m2 times y square minus 2h by b times xy which is the value of m1 plus m2 plus x square equal to 0. Which simplifies to ay square minus 2hxy plus bx square equal to 0 which is option b. The area of the triangle formed by the pair of lines ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0 and the line lx plus my plus n equal to 0 is option a m square times square root of a square minus a b divided by a m square minus 2 h l m plus b l square. Option b m square times a square minus a b divided by 2 times a m square minus 2 h l m plus b l square. And option c is 2 m square times square root of a square minus a b divided by a m square minus 2 h l m plus b l square and option d is one of these. Let y minus m1 x equal to 0 that is o a and y minus m2 x equal to 0 that is o b be the two lines represented by ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0. That implies m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2h upon b and m1 and m2 equal to a upon b. Now ab is the line with the equation lx plus my plus n equal to 0. a is obtained by solving y minus m1x equal to 0 and lx plus my plus n equal to 0 which gives us lx plus m m1 times x equal to minus n. Therefore the coordinates of a are minus n upon l plus m m1 comma minus n m1 divided by l plus m m1. Similarly, the coordinates of B are minus n upon L plus m m2, comma minus n m2 divided by L plus m m2. Hence, the area of triangle OAB is equal to half determinant whose first row is 0, 0, 1. Second row is minus n upon L plus m m1 minus n m1 upon L plus m m1 1. 
and the third row is minus n upon L plus mm2 minus n m2 upon L plus mm2 1 which simplifies to 1 by 2 times m square times m2 minus m1 divided by L plus mm1 times L plus mm2 equals to 1 by 2 modulus of m square times square root of m1 plus m2 whole square minus 4 m1 m2 divided by l square plus l m times m1 plus m2 plus m square times m1 m2 that is half times modulus of m square times square root of 4 h square by b square minus 4a upon b divided by l square plus lm times minus 2h upon b plus m square times a upon b which simplifies to m square square root of a square minus ab divided by modulus of b l square minus 2hlm plus m square which is option a.